So I got this comment from M Natty, who needs some help making a locked level button and making it unlock when Daniel collides with the N flag. Wondering if you can do a tutorial on it. I sure can, M Natty, and here it is. Okay, so we need to create a button that is locked. Um, so when you click on it, it doesn't work. And then what we need to do is create an object for the player to collide with. And when the player collides with that object, then that unlocks the button for the next level. So how do we do that? Let's create the object. Double click, add a sprite. Let's resize 16 by 16. And let's just color this red. Let's pop that down there. Oh. Align it with the bottom so it lines up. This is going to be our collision. I'm going to call it flag because that is what um, the comment suggested. A flag. It doesn't look like a flag, but it's a flag. Just suspend disbelief for the sake of this tutorial. Um, now we need a button that is going to be set to locked. So let's create it. Um, there is a button here that you can use on the form controls, but it's ugly and I don't like it. So I'm going to create one using a sprite. I'm going to make the width 32 and the height 16. And I'm going to color it blue because why not? And I'm going to give it a border. It doesn't, it's not an art tutorial, but why not? Let's give it a border. Okay, that is our button and I need it to be locked. I'm going to call it btn underscore button just because I can't think of anything better. Now we need to give it an instance variable. New variable, let's give it a boolean. This is a true or false, so it's either going to be locked or unlocked. I'm going to call it locked and its initial value Put a tick in the box over here under instant variables. So its initial value is locked. When we collide with this flag, we're going to change the instant variable to unlock. So let's code that in. All I've got in the code right now is just the basic movement for the player. So add an event, player, on collision with another object, flag. Then what do we want to happen? Well, we want the button to set boolean locked to false. Now if we play the level, that's not going to do anything. Except change that from unlock to unlock, which we can't see. But we've got the basics there now. We don't need to put anything in, in terms of locking it, because on the start of the layout, its default is already locked. So. Now we need to put in some actions that enable us to click the button. So we've already got the mouse um, added over in our, in our objects. If you haven't got that already, double click and you can just add it in. In fact, I'll just take mine out and I'll show you. So if I double click, I can scroll down and under input, I can add the mouse. Now the mouse is added, which means we can talk about it and we can use it in the event sheet. So we're going to go mouse on object clicked, left clicked, you can double click, you can right click, you can do whatever. When we left click the button, we don't need to add an action. We need to go in and create a sub event. So click on the little arrow here so you highlight the whole thing. Push B on the keyboard, double click. So when we click the button, we need to check to see if the button uh, sorry, if is it the button we added it to? Yeah, if we, if we need to see if the button is locked or unlocked, so we need to check the instance variable. So we need to compare the instance variable. Uh, no, we need to, is boolean instance variable set locked? Click and make this yellow by clicking in the little end of the tab there, and then you can push right click, Sorry, just copy and paste it. What am I talking about? Control C, Control V, or Command if you're on a Mac. And then highlight the second one and push I on the keyboard. 
and then that will change it to not locked. So effectively what I've got here is when we click this button, we then ask another question. We say, is it locked or is it unlocked? And if it's locked, we do this. And if it's unlocked, we do this. So if it's locked, we do nothing. Um, you could add a, uh, a message. In fact, why not? Let's put some text in here. Not that. Double click. Add some text. Stick it anywhere you like. Call this locked txt underscore lock. I'm going to clone. Um, I'm going to clone it. No, 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 I'm not. Don't listen to me. I mean, do listen to me, but don't listen to that bit. I can delete that from in here. We don't need that. You don't have to do that. Just don't do it. Um, I'm just going to call it lock. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is what this is going to display when we click the button. So text underscore lock. Um, I can set the value to locked. It doesn't really matter because we're going to change it. If I could type we're going to change it in the code anyway. Let's just pop it up there. Okay, so when we left click the mouse button, if it's locked, we're going to set the text. To say locked. If it's unlocked, we're going to set it to unlocked. That's when we click it. So you can see it changed there slightly. What would be better is if I just delete that text altogether. So there's no default text. And then we test it, locked. There you go. Now we need to unlock it when we touch the flag. Okay, so we've already got that set. So locked. I've touched it, now it's unlocked. So the question in the comment was, when you click the button, if it's unlocked, it will take you to the next level, but if it's locked, it won't take you to the next level. So let's create a second layout quickly. Add layout, layout only. Just so we know that we're there, I'm just gonna put some text in there. And I'm gonna call this one level two, or whatever the case may be. I'm just going to pop it up there in the corner. So now when we click the button, if it's unlocked, it's going to take us to level two. If it's not unlocked, it's just going to say locked. So when we click it, we can just change this text now. System, go to layout, layout two. It's as simple as that. And if not, it's just going to return that text that just says locked. Or you can say whatever you want, like go find a key or stop clicking on me, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. So now we're here, we can jump around, we're on the level, oh there's a button, uh oh, it's locked, it's not doing anything. Wait a minute, there's a flag, now we can go to level 2. Hope that was helpful, if you want me to do a tutorial on anything construct related, leave a comment and if I see it, I will get around to doing it, and if I can do it, I'll do it. If you found the content useful, please leave a like and consider subscribing, it really helps the channel.